Shalom. Shalom, everybody. What's going on? What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back. It's another... Uh, uh, I, I'm back. I'm back from Puerto Rico. Back from vacation. And yes, the mustache is still here. Uh, I still have it. And I'm going to be contemplating whether or not I'm going to be getting rid of it. Uh, but I think that's mostly up to you guys, primarily. But uh, for right now, we're uh, doing a coming back stream. I'm only going to be streaming for a little bit because I have a couple of appointments today and some things to take care of. So it'll be a short stream today, but I want to talk about a lot of things because uh, a lot of things have changed since I I came, you know, to this office and stuff. And both, first of all, let me change the freaking the scene. There we go. There we go. Hey, there we go. <laughs> a lot of things have changed. All right. All right. A lot of things happen in a single day, right? Yes. A lot howdy, of things happen in a while. What did you miss? Howdy, well, howdy, a cool coy. dude I watched what has made the oh, decision to I have propose to, to his lovely cool girlfriend. Shut that off. Turned fiance now. Such a, girlfriend girlfriend turned fiance now. Such a happy occasion for them. Such a happy occasion for them. Such a happy occasion for them. Hold on, I have to turn that off Kof because Kef. I did a stream over in Puerto Rico. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Things are getting crazy. I forgot to do that. Give me a second. Don't do anything. Not until I finish turning this off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cheer. Turn off TTS. Okay. Save. Okay. I think we should be good now. Yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay now. Okay, great. Uh, save, good to go. All right, what's up, everybody? We slash Charlie better get a suit for the wedding. <laughs> we slash I didn't Charlie know Pablo get Escobar a suit for is the wedding. streaming. Ola Bendeco. I thought I would turn I it off. I didn't know Pablo Escobar is streaming. Oh, Ola I know Bendeco. why. I'm such a dummy. I, I know why. So I have to turn it all off, not just the TTS. Charlie's the one that does my freaking bits. Okay, here we go. Uncheck. Bam, Congrats there we go. Congrats on the pregnancy, Kwai Kek. I'm not pregnant. Okay. We should be good now. We should be pretty good now. Twitch Prime. Okay. All right, all right. All right, shut up, everybody. Uh, okay, so I, we're good now. The, the TTS won't be doing weird, weird stuff, uh, double voices and stuff like that. But I do see a lot of resets. Howdy, howdy, Prime. What did you miss? Well, a cool dude I know returned from vacation and announced his proposal to his girlfriend turned fiancé. Lol. Pretty yeah? efficient cat. Yeah. Uh, I'm ignoring that last one. Rumors okay. of Koi's pregnancy and cocaine empire have been greatly exaggerated. Oh shit, it's Eddie Burback again. What's up, dude? Glad <laughs> to see you blessing smaller channels with your presence. Say hi to Koi for me. Do I look? Congrats, Koi. I don't. I don't when look. You I don't have the glasses. Kof creep. I don't have the glasses. Uh, I don't have the glasses to be called Eddie Burback. You know who does look like Eddie Burback? My freaking brother. My bro brother definitely did. My brother went from, uh, a lot of people were calling him Hassan, and then he went from Hassan to Eddie Burback in the, with the swipe of a razor. I'm clinically addicted to Persona 3 Reload PLS. Help me, Koi. Also, congrats on the preg marriage. Uh, to be honest, being clinically addicted to Persona 3 is better than anything that's happening on Twitter right now. So, you know what? You got the, the you, you got the best of what could have happened. Okay. So, uh. Nice to catch a stream of the person that met the random shoujo person, aka Project Melody, who fun fact was my first. That was funny. Tuba that I followed. That's still French one of my favorite Canadian, stories to tell. Same French that Matara can, can speak. And love many game genre. Tara can speak Happy French. Happy to watch you live for the first time. That pimple on your head is going to drive me fucking crazy. Go pop it, and have faith give you some cover up or foundation to fix it. In the meantime, I'll be getting my hairs cut. Later guys. Sorry, your nose. 
Thanks for being here I need a bit of cheering up man so thanks. Also congrats on the marriage. That's not a pimple, that's dry skin. You fucking ingrate piece of shit asshole pendejo canta cabrón hijo puta. Huele bicho, vete a la hostia. Let's see. Let's see, uh... <clears throat> Blabbering sorry for making my streamer presentable. Wait, no, I'm not. Anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, don't worry, that's Masa. Uh, you guys can Ooh, shoot him. Bitch. You guys can berate him. Uh, just to let you know, he, he likes golden showers. He loves that shit. So I'm just letting you know. Do with him what you what you want, chat. That's all I'm saying. Yes, queen! Um, so, okay. Uh, a lot of things have happened. Uh, the biggest thing, of course, the biggest thing that has happened uh, in the time that I've been gone is, of course, the fact that, yes, I am now engaged. I currently, uh, Faith is now my ex-girlfriend. Um, Faith is no longer my girlfriend. She is now my fiance. So that's, that's, that's how it is. A lot of, so that's the biggest thing, and it was great. Uh, it was pretty, pretty awesome. The uh, the ring is on 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 online and stuff like that, so you guys can see it through Twitter. And yeah, it was uh, a pretty pretty great moment. It was uh, I I I was definitely very much nervous. There's a lot of things behind the scenes that I won't tell you guys about, but all I'll tell you is that. Uh, thank God she said yes, of course. So, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, what's going on. Just to let you guys know, um, uh, when it comes to the actual wedding itself, I, I can share some, uh, this is the only time that I'm going to be sharing, um, like, info about this stuff. Um, because I don't usually, like, like to share, like, personal info and i don't like to bother you Wait, guys with my personal hey, life second i just realized koi doesn't have a gf anymore boys i mean let's no go. you're not you are out you are so out you are in the stratosphere you're not even outside the house you're not even outside the country you are outside the stratosphere you're nowhere near where you want it to be no 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 nowhere near stay out there stay home Anyways, so uh, when it comes to my personal life and stuff like that, I don't really like to, you know, say too much just because I don't want to bug you guys and I don't want to, there's a lot of stuff that happens with my personal life and I don't want to bug you guys with that shit. I mean, it's like some people really like it, you know, people that like to, you like the vlogs and, and people that watch the Keeping Up With The Kardashians and shit and they love to have you know, an insight into some people's lives, but I don't want to bug you guys with that. All I want to do is really just, uh, um, just have fun with you guys in certain aspects, but not that one. So I will tell you guys that, yes, I did, uh, ask her to marry, marry me and stuff. And she said, yes. And I will tell you guys that the wedding will be in, uh, Puerto Rico and the wedding won't be until next year. So, uh, we are going to be having uh, a beach wedding, and uh, it'll be next year, around early summer. That is the time frame as to when it's going to happen. Uh, no wedding stream, Sag. I don't know if I'll do a wedding stream. Probably not, because uh, that just I don't want it to be a big thing. However, uh, the honeymoon... The honeymoon, I don't know if I want to possibly stream during my honeymoon because of the location of the honeymoon. What, I'll, what, what I can probably do, you know, I don't think it'd be a bad idea to give my brother an IRL backpack and just have you guys vicariously experience the wedding through my brother 
the honey no 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 the honey no it's because of no i'm not saying oh my god you guys are so fucking dumb okay i'm not saying that i'm gonna be streaming honeymoon activities i'm talking about like the location that we're gonna be at during our honeymoon is going to be a place that i could possibly stream irl and go about my day and you know have a good time there yeah you guys are so fucking dumb let's see i'm engaged in gay no i like i'm legit like i'm getting married yes yeah it'll be fine with a vlog that's not a bad idea either doing a vlog or uh exper or, or 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 going through uh the wedding with an IRL backpack like just give my brother an IRL backpack you go to it and then you experience it whatever the case may be but i don't think that's that's going to be a thing i think a vlog will most likely be better because i don't want people to like you know that's that's like uh i don't want people to show up live on stream right like oh if you're coming you're going to be streamed it's like uh maybe not maybe a vlog would be much better Joel, what's up, buddy? Oh boy, Koi is getting married, Kof Joy. What's up, Joel? Hey, thanks for the kind message, man. Yeah, no, it's uh, I'm back. I'm back from uh, the Puerto Rico, and we spent, I think, 16, 17 days in Puerto Rico. God damn, we spent a long time over there. It's really good. It's really fun to, uh, oh, not really fun, but like, it's like, it's Man, really good. Feels good to come back. Getting your girlfriend stolen by another dude, getting pregnant, and then proceeding I'm to get I'm not pregnant. Why do people have a weird, stupid obsession with me being pregnant? What does that mean? What does that mean? Shut up, Joel! I don't need you to be spreading that shit either. You already spread the feet shit, now you're gonna spread this shit, and I don't need that! I don't need it! I'm not having a baby. I'm not spreading nothing. I smell cap. But you know what? I'll believe you for now. At least your GF got you pregnant. Nags got pregnant by Chibi. You typed that in you with a smug on your face. Chat I bet. to make sense, really? Who do you think we are, politicians? What? Nags got pregnant by Chibi. Okay, you guys are okay. This is this is a, this is a, this is an internet thing. This is an internet thing. You know what? If that makes you fucking happy and shit, go for it. Believe what you want. What the fuck? On the mpreg? What's a mpreg? What's a mpreg? Male pregnancy. Male pre- You know what? I'm not gonna tread down this line. This is a really weird line that I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna tread on the internet. Because who knows uh, there's going to be all sorts of different people coming out from all sorts of pockets to tell me all sorts of shit about that you know what i'm gonna put that to rest and just call it a day okay uh so anyways yes i uh got engaged uh we're planning on having uh the wedding uh in 2025 oh do you guys want to see the ring uh faith is asking if you guys want to see the ring she's here do you want to show it on the on the on the hand or do you guys It's a perfectly natural yeah, phenomenon. You can, you can go up close. Male to it. sea yeah. horses get pregnant yeah, hence and preg. Yeah, I just have to be focused. There you go. Yeah, that's the ring. Let me see if I can do something here. Yeah. That's the ring. Makes me look like a princess. It's a stacked ring. It's very different, very unique. The very faith. I was very worried that she wasn't going to like it. <laughs> it's a sapphire. Yes, it is a sapphire. It is not a plastic ring. That is that is very real. It cost me a lot of money. And so with 
I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel, giving bits, gifting subs, because if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't have afforded that shit. I'm telling you that right now. I want to thank you guys for that shit. <laughs> uh, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> holy shit holy shit <laughs> it, it's not on it's not it's paid off just letting you know so you don't have to sub now to to make up the funds it's already been Let invested and we're, we're good again. paid off like good to go prime. done a honeymoon fund actually i uh, was talking to faith about it uh by the way thank you so much batsumaru for the freaking 10 gifties bro thank you man oh shit i just looked at my sub count it's low yeah uh I, I i forgot that my sub count was low because of the sub the the the, the thing that we did and and the new years and shit okay yeah anyways i just i didn't see it anyways thank you so much for the the 10 gifted subs i really appreciate it batsu uh we'll be dancing in just a second uh oh 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 i'm i am i'm adding something new there's a new thing that's coming to the stream okay this is not anything like great or special i'm just doing this uh for because this will be a thing that's going to be happening from now on uh to be able to what, how do you say it? Prime. to be able to help me stream better all right i my brain is not normal it's not average or anything i get distracted very easily i get off i, I go off the rails i forget what i'm saying and that's primarily due to you guys. The, you guys make me like this. So what I'm going to do is whenever there's something that I need to say, a story, something I need to announce, something that I need to do or tell you guys and get my point across without being disrupted, I'm doing this. Story time. No notifications. No TTS. When it's on this screen... There's nothing. No alerts. No nothing. How the fuck did you do that? Hey. Oh, shit. Ah. Well, it was nice while it lasted. I'm gonna have to fix that. Mods, mute the alerts. You bitch. What the fuck? Ah, shit. How do I fix this shit? I'm gonna have to put it through you another source. Bitch. And then just mute it completely. What the fuck? Ah, shit. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I. I. Uh... Ah! I mean, the only way I can mute everything is if I mute, but I, I want it to be muted specifically on this screen, which I will try to fix. I'll, I'll try to fix it by next time. But just to let you guys know, okay, we're, we're done. Okay. Um, just to let you guys know, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to fix it tonight. And I, when I, we stream tomorrow, I am going to be streaming tomorrow. And uh, so when it's on this screen right here, whether it be a story that I'm telling, whether it be something that I need to tell you guys, whether it be something that I want to get my point across and stuff without getting distracted, I'm going to put it on this screen, story time, and you guys shut up and you just listen until that happens. Story time. Okay? We good? We good? Capiche? All right. And then when I go back to my, this is when I go back to here. And now we're squared. We're good now. Now TTS is back. Alerts are back. Raids are back. Sound alerts are back. All of those. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for the raid, Sandy, Sandy Pants. I hope you're doing good. Um, Pablo Escobar. Yeah, the, that's, that, that's been the meme of the entire yeah. trip. Have a distraction on me. Yeah, that's basically what, what this screen is for. But when I need to get something across, I go to the story, story time screen and call it a day, okay? That's, that, that's, that's how it goes. 
Um, Dotai, thanks so much for the uh, for the two Ew. inches. Much love. By the way, everybody else that subbed, I saw the Prime earlier today. Thank you so much for the Prime. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, the regular tier one. Thank you so much. Uh, oh yeah, Stan uh, Stachersky with the Prime. Thank you so much, Johnny H with the tier Got one. Jack work. Jack Congrats Rack with the Prime. On the thank engagement. you. Yes, thank you, Gumpers. I appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I for those of you that are coming in brand new, if you didn't know. Yeah, I got engaged. Uh, I am currently now engaged uh, to a VTuber. I went from I went from simping VTubers to marrying one of them. Not crazy. Tell them about the honeymoon. Can I tell them? Uh, we're planning on maybe having our honeymoon in Japan. Sorry, just using the last of my bits. No problem, barbarian. Yeah, we're planning on going to Japan possibly. Uh for for uh but that's next year, obviously. We want to try and do it around the time where the cherry blossoms are blooming. So we're doing it like early summer, late spring around there. Uh we're trying to coordinate it and do that. So Yeah. Time to fund their Kingdom Hearts hotel room. If they still had it, that'd be very I'd be very happy with that. But I don't think they have it. Are you pregnant? I'm not pregnant. Shut the fuck up. Hollow Fest 2025. I don't know if it'll be around that time. Uh, could also be used to go on trash taste. Dude, they're not going to ask me, bro. Dude, who the fuck is going to ask me to go on their, their multi-million dollar, uh, not multi-million dollar, multi-million sub podcast? Like, I'm just a fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm just a, nor, uh, a, 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 a guy. Engaged Let's go. Like, what am I going to say that's interesting? Uh, you're the VTuber expert? If they need anything on VTubers, that's fine, but that's, that's about it. Are you pregnant? I'm not pregnant! I'm only Finally engaged. Get the opportunity to talk about chairs with Connor. <laughs> chairs? What if I bring him one? That'd be funny. Um, just say the entire KH lore. Dude, if, I, if they invited me to... Try to explain to them the entire KH lore. I would do an entire thing on that for sure. Absolutely. Um, congrats, Brody. Welcome back. Why do you look like my Italian neighbor? Is that you, Paul? Uh, I hate that people are saying that. So the, so the joke of the trip. So this trip, we had a joke, right? Um, hold on. I'm using this to good use. We had a joke. The joke of the trip. Uh, from the Puerto Rico trip. Uh, my family went. Uh, it was, I think, six of us. Because it included my, my cousin. My cousin, Sean. He was there. He's in the, the Puerto Rico vlog, actually. So uh, we had uh, the six of us. And the joke of the trip was that I... So the joke of the trip was that Apollo, my brother, Mac... He was Luigi, and I was Mario, because my, we had to buy a plunger, because my sister clogged the, the, the bathroom in the apartment, and when my brother walked out with a plunger, he said, you look like Luigi, with the mustache, because he also had a mustache. And then they looked at me, he's like, oh my god, and they looked at my red shoes, my red Sonic shoes, and they said, you're Mario! And together, you're the Mario Brothers. So. Yeah. You are Wario? No, Wario was, so my dad, my dad is a little bit more bitter than, uh, than, than us. You know, he's a very old school Puerto Rican uh, guy that's, uh, that's in his 50s. He was called Wario. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, I was Mario. My brother was uh, Luigi. My father was Wario, and he's like my dad's wide, so it looked just like him. And then, like my cousin was like Waluigi because my my cousin likes to say "wow" a lot. So, anyways, that's that's that that's that was the joke of the trip. Yeah, it was it it was pretty funny. It, it was what other joke? 
Well, uh, that's not. That's that's more of an inside joke. That's more. I mean, I could tell him, but it's not that big of a deal. There was another joke where my sister. Every time some like anybody did anything funny during the trip, and we all laughed. My sister, I don't know why, but she has this weird response where she would say, "Wow, that was actually funny." And I called it out. I said, "Why? Why do you always say that?" It's like they weren't funny inherently. So you just have to point out whenever they are. It's like, wow, you're actually not a funny person. But this time you were really funny. Every, that's what it sounds like every time she says it. So anytime anybody said, did anything funny, it was so annoying. Anytime anybody did anything funny, they'd be like, wow, that was actually really funny. Good job. Like this was kindergarten or something. And it got old fast. So the for Mr. Strimmer man. Welcome back, King. You're looking fresher than ever. Can't believe we got to see your Mike Chin Mario. Congrats to you and Faith. Much love, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's just like a big, huge thing of sarcasm. When are we getting the Chris Pratt voiceover for Mr. Strummer? The Chris Pratt voiceover. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The Chris Pratt stuff with Mario is getting so unfunny. I don't know why. I just, I, I, I don't find it funny anymore. Did you engage someone? <laughs> did I engage them? Yes, I did. I killed the fuck out of them. I went, I'm engaging. <laughs> it was like Call of Duty, bro. It was great. Uh, can I, Mr. Escobar? Oh, yeah, and the other joke of the trip was the fact that I was called. Well, it wasn't during the trip. It was uh, on, on Twitter, my community, because I posted me having a mustache on, on Twitter. And they were calling me Pablo Escobar. And I, I basically... Holy shit! Oh, shit! Holy shit! Hold on. Bro, thank you so much for the... For the donation. They said, thanks for explaining to me about Puerto Rican Chinese food last time. This time, could you explain why someone in chat added faith if you put the wedding ring on her toes? No. On her finger. Thanks so much for the, for the donation. Uh, so. Welcome back, Mr. S. Mr. S? Wait, why am I called Mr. S? Can I get a wedding? To no! What, did you get your own wedding? No! I'm not, I'm not doing anything with that. I'm not, do I don't have anything to do with that. I don't care. And I'm not touching that thing with a 10-foot pole. Okay? All right, you, you do whatever you want. Can we come to the wedding? I am thinking about hiring a video videographer for the thing. So uh, you guys can get a, a video. Because I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. So you guys can be invited. Um, but anyways. Um, that's not until next year. Live stream the wedding. I was thinking about it. Uh, and who knows. But I don't want to live stream the wedding. Mostly because... I don't want to put that pressure on people that come, you know, it's like, Hey, by the way, you're going to be broadcasted all over the internet. Uh, same thing with faith too. And I, I don't know if uh, faith really wants to do that. So, um, but I will say that, uh, um, you know, I, I also want to keep like uh, privacy, uh, pretty, pretty relevant in that case. So I think hiring a videographer is like the best way to go about it. And then I'll upload it whenever it's done. You know, I think that that's so good. So, yeah, for those of you who are coming in that are brand new uh, to here. Yeah, I am engaged. I am getting married to a VTuber, actually. <laughs> Funny enough. Um, but, yeah, that's the biggest change that has occurred uh, since I have been gone, at least in my life, the one that I care about. And uh, there's a couple of other things that have occurred, as you guys know, through Twitter. And uh, since I'm only going to be streaming for a little bit. I do want to talk about plans after 
uh, this because uh, actually before I talk about the big elephant in the room, because I do want to discuss it, but I'm not going to fixate on it and then dedicate the entire stream to it. We all know the big elephant in the room and it's a huge ass motherfucking elephant. Okay. So we're going to be talking about it and I do want to address it and I want to, uh, don't call yourself that <laughs> fucking fucking shoot him. Shoot him. I ate a lot, but not that much. You motherfucker. Shoot him. Fucking green name. So anyways, I'm going to be addressing that and I'm going to be uh, making a video out of it because I do think this is a very important topic. Very important event that's happening in, in history, in, uh, in the VTubing space. And uh, some things have occurred, have developed, and I want to put it to rest because I think this is unprecedented and I want to give my thoughts on it and be done, put it to rest and be done. That will happen after I tell you guys my plans for this month and next month. I think there's a big one though. This month, I want to play a couple things. Okay. I want to play Tekken 8. I really want to. I want to play more Tekken. I've been craving it. Actually, I might play Tekken 8 today after I'm done with all of my stuff. After the stream, I have to go to my parents' house and kind of talk to my mom because my mom wasn't there on the vacation and she Welcome did not back, hear about Mr. the, Escobar. the First of engagement. All, congrats on the matricidio. I'm sure you and Faith will be happy. Hmm. Second, congrats on the preg. Hope little fucking shoot the pink name too. Than his father. And third, Iconito. It's Iconito. Shut the fucking pink names and green names alike. So anyways, uh, my mom wasn't at the trip, so she wasn't there when we initially got engaged. Um, and yeah, yeah. And then I also have a lot of, I also have a lot of uh, stories about Puerto Rico. If you guys are interested as to what I did, those two weeks were a long time and stuff. I'll, I'll briefly go over it. It wasn't like, uh, I mean, I kind of went over it a little bit during the trip, but I do want to go over it in detail uh, probably today, but I don't know if I'll have enough time today. So I'll probably do that next time. Okay. Thanks for giving that sub to M. Preg. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So, what am I doing this month? I want to play a lot of Tekken. Uh, Tekken 8 is, I think, my current focus that I want to. Because, like, Tekken 8 is popping off. It's very fun. And I think a lot of people are doing... I saw the tweet where Sayjam was going to put together, uh, like, a content creator kind of CR Cup type of thing which I think would be awesome. I did uh, put in my, my info uh, into the ring in case Sejam did need to get in contact with any like big VTubers and stuff. I can definitely see if they're interested. Like for example, I, uh, I know that Tara also uh, replied to that, which is actually sick. I would love to see Tara uh, play Tekken. I know that Zen plays Tekken and she's been grinding it out. I'm very proud of her. And I also would love to see other VTubers out in thrown into the, the ring as well. Similarly to how the original CR Cup uh, went down, which I think actually happened again, right? That, wasn't there another CR Cup that occurred, right? Uh, you would be perfect as a coach. Well, if I, if I am considered, I don't know if I'm going to be considered. Like, I don't want to, I don't like, I, there's so many better people than me um, at this stuff, obviously. but. Because of that, I would love to get back into the swing of things and get back into Tekken for sure. Okay. So, um, I want to play a lot of Tekken 8. Don't know when the next time that's going to be. I think it's going to be this week for sure. I want to be streaming a whole bunch. Uh, content wise, I have a lot of ideas for content. Uh, after taking this trip, like my, my brain fog has been lifted. I am just so focused right now on doing a whole bunch of shit for my, for content that I am very happy. I took that vacation. I'm it's great. And, uh, the other thing too, that I, I wanted to do this month, uh, or at least today chat, can you put up a poll? Should 2024 be the year of the mustache? Should 2024 be the year of the mustache? Because I was going to, I did it for Puerto Rico. I shaved again during Puerto Rico because after, this is after a week. After a week, this is, this is, this is what, what happened. Like I'm, it's already growing out. 
But should uh, 2024 be the year of the mustache? The the <laughs> the ex girlfriend does like it. Yes. Will you stream in red overalls? <laughs> I don't want to, if that's what you're asking. If that's what you're asking, I don't want to. I'd rather stream in my regular clothes. Let's see. Uh, you got more beard after a week than I after four months. Damn, dude. Um, let's see. Yeah, red shirt, blue overalls. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay, the poll is up. Seems like... Uh, Oh, some people don't want the mustache. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. Okay, okay. But some people do want the mustache. Because if I do the mustache, that means I have to think of a, 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 a regime to be able to keep this shaved. You know? No, keeping a mustache is way harder. Way harder. You could do a short beard. Yeah, like, I could make it so it's like this, obviously. Top left of the screen is crazy. Dude, somebody sub. Somebody fucking sub. Please. We see the Thank jawline you. every two decades. We must preserve the greatness, fellas. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Bits are great. Thank you. Thank you, Sora. Um. I hate the fact that you guys try to make it 50-50 every time. Like, you don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. You exist to just chaos into the... Okay, thank God. You could be like, I would like him to keep the mustache, but 50-50s, you know what I mean? Um... Prominent mustache with a light beard. Yeah, I might keep it like this. Like, this is probably the, 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 uh, probably the thickest it'll be. The beard, at least. But the thing is, this stage is usually the itchiest, which sucks. So either I go on or I shave it. That's, that's, that's the thing. Preserve the mustache, one of us. Then actual no, yeah, exactly. We crave balance. No, you don't. Shut up. You crave chaos. I kind of miss the beard, to be honest. Koi with only a mustache is like Vegeta with a mustache. If you know, you know. <laughs> mustache. I don't want to hear it, Faith. I think she's lying. I don't think she misses the beard at all. I don't think, I don't think, she, I think she's, oh, she's hella lying. Yeah, I'm not listening to my ex-girlfriend. My, my ex is just, she's, she's out of control. She, she lies a lot. There's a reason that she's my ex. You know what I mean? <clears throat> she's just out of control. She was craving too much content, too much clout chasing, you know, there's a reason why she's my ex, you know? Uh, anyways, okay, uh, also the month of March, just to kind of keep going, the month of March will be the, mo the month of Final Fantasy XIV, so for those of you who don't know, uh, we hit a sub goal during the chat lock that was, uh, was a sub goal for a, a long time, and we finally hit it, 1400 subs equals I stream Final Fantasy XIV for a month. Yeah, and it's starting in March. Uh, we hit that sub goal in January, actually at the beginning of January, uh, for New Year's. We hit that sub goal, and we are uh, streaming and learning and going through Final Fantasy XIV for one month. And it'll be my first real MMO. I played WoW Hardcore with Nags and Evan and Noble and stuff, and we got to level 8 or whatever the hell, and we did that. But this will be the first one that I'm going to be making an effort myself and streaming it and also, um, you know, trying to experience the story and the gameplay and stuff like that. Uh, it it, it kind of pains me a little bit because then 
if if I were to do this, I would feed into the the FGC retirement home meme, and anytime I give any sort of ammo to chat, it's just a fucking nightmare. So uh, I'll, I'm just gonna have to take the L and enter the FGC retirement home because I know that I can't stop the chat from saying that shit. So we're gonna be playing FF14 in the month of March, and we're gonna be doing a little, a little, little twist to it too. Um, this is not particularly because of Final Fantasy XIV. This is mostly because I want to do this, and it kind of just correlates with the FF14 month. I want to do, and I mentioned this before I went to Puerto Rico, but for those of you who are new, at least you won't be able to drown in FF14 Cove Creep. Good to know. That's very good to know. So, what I'm going to be doing in the month of March is I'm going to be doing a... Say Gems thing is apparently in March. So if we want to really make it a retirement party, you can participate in that then do 14. No, no, I'll do that at the same time. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not... So in the month of March, story time, in the month of March... We are going to be playing FF14 while at the same time, while at the same time, doing a, 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 like a quirk, like a new thing, right? I'm going to be doing or treating streaming like a nine to five. Okay. Nine to five. What does that mean? Before. I started streaming full time. I would participate in society and I would wake up at 8 30 in the morning, shower, maybe eat breakfast, maybe on the way, stop by McDonald's, and at 9 o'clock a.m., show up to work, clock in, and then uh, take a lunch, hour lunch, until 5, 5 p.m., and I would clock out, be done for the day. I would show up in a suit, I'm sorry, in, in a shirt and tie. Fully dressed, showered, ready to go. And I will be doing the same. At 9 a.m. in the month of March, 9 a.m. my time, so 8 a.m. PST, okay? I will be starting the stream. It'll be starting it. And if I'm late, that's a, I'm, I'm basically going to be treating this as a job. And guess who's going to be in charge of making sure that my attendance is okay and everything is good to go? You guys. So you guys have to make sure that I'm here every morning on time. And, you know, I'll take my hour lunch. Take my hour lunch. And then at 5 p.m., doesn't matter what I'm doing. It doesn't. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing or what I'm in the middle of I'm clocking out and we can talk about it the next day or we can do it the next day. Now this is going to be a somewhat of a challenge. Okay. Because, uh, if I end up being late too much or something like that, uh, I'm going to be making up rules. Like I'm, I can take a sick day. I can take like our lunches and I can do shit like that. Right. And it, this doesn't have to be specifically for FF14. That's for anything that we're doing. Like, if we're taking a break for a day to just do um, Tekken 8 or something, right? Tekken 8 or whatever the hell and whatever, that's on the same night. It's not for FF14 specifically. That's for any sort of streaming that we do in the month of March. That's what I'm going to do actually tend to make a timesheet for the month now. That's exactly what we need to do uh, for the month of March. So it's going to be somewhat like that. I'm going to be treating this like a, like a, like a nine to five job. Okay. To see if I'm still, I can still come back to society. If this whole thing were to, you know, go up in flames or something happens. I don't know. What if the internet shuts down tomorrow and, or Twitch shuts down or YouTube is like, well, whatever. You know, whatever. 
So that's what I, I that's what I'm going to be doing. Treating streaming like a 9 to 5. I'm also only going to be streaming from Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. So I will be taking weekends off. That's right. Yo, no, you guys don't have to, obviously. None of you have to. I'm going to be streaming 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time with an hour lunch. And we do it all over again the next day. You're going to wear pants. No, I'm going to be wearing, I'm going to be wearing shoes. Like, I, I'm going to be wearing shoes. Like, that's how, that's how, like, serious this is going to be. Like, dress code and everything. What about overtime? Uh, no, fuck overtime. <laughs> no. Who wants to do overtime, bro? How do we treat overtime? No, dude. I'm not doing overtime. If you guys want to do overtime, you guys have to give me time and a half, which is like, I don't know, 50 gifted subs. If you guys want to keep it going, 50 gifted subs, 100, or whatever the case may be for time and a half. That's my overtime. That's, that, that's how it works. Uh, how will you ask us for a day off? Uh, before the actual month occurs or happens, I'm going to be coming back uh, with a, uh, like a, like a rule set to be like, how do sick days work? How do vacation days work? Shit like that. Anyways. Okay, that's it. Tom Selleck streaming. You know, Tom Selleck is a handsome motherfucker. Oh, my bad. The hum spam will be so real. Hum meeting. The hum, the hum spam? <laughs> Sorry, but the mandatory overtime is non-negotiable. No. <laughs> we all know, just like how regular jobs pay their employees for overtime, you guys gotta pay me for my overtime. Oh, it did? Okay, well, can they take my card this time? You've never okay. worked a okay. regular job, okay. have you? Okay. Um, never worked it. No, I, that's uh, no. I got I got paid um overtime. I got paid time and a half. I I had a very good job. I, I had a very good job. Let's see here. Some do not pay overtime for an Chat additional vacation day. My my job played overtime. Promise. Uh, let's see here. Any tips to get a job? Uh, to get a, the, in general? I mean, it's pretty easy to get a job these days. Getting a good job is what's hard. Um, you know, working in, in food, working in uh, different places to be able to uh, start building up your, 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 your resume and stuff. It's great. Can we see your resume? A lot of people want this job. Maybe, may, maybe... Maybe I'll do it on the first ever stream. Maybe on your first ever, maybe we'll, we'll do like a job interview for the first stream. Maybe. I, anyways, we're not doing it right now. I'm just saying that's what we're trying to do as content for the month of March while FF14 is going on at the same time. Because I'm going to take advantage of the 9 to 5 schedule to be able to get as much as Actually, I can out of yeah. FF14. You write up the resume and we use that to determine the terms of the job. Yeah, correct. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of what's going on. All right, uh, how much time do I have? Koi, what happens if you get addicted to Fxif because it's possible also when it comes to your wedding, does chat have to dress up? <laughs> no, chat does not have to dress up. But uh, if you guys want to, I will give Charlie Chatlin uh, a tuxedo, if you guys want. I will give Charlie Chatlin a tuxedo. Or give a tuxedo to the pendejitos. Like, you know the, 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 the pendejito PNG that we have? We'll, we'll give the pendejito a, a suit as well. We'll give Charlie one, and we'll give the pendejitos one. 
For the first day of March, in order to join our firm you'll have to submit your resume as well as let chat view your LinkedIn, we'll contact you in one business day for a Zoom interview. Thank you for your time. Hmm, yep. it says here on your resume that you drowned immediately after criticizing someone else drowning. Could you explain this? <coughs> I don't know where you got that. That's not true. That is fake news. Sir, that has to be another applicant because that did not happen to me. All right. Who's going to be your best man? Uh, I that That's stuff that I'm not going to think about until like maybe a little bit later on in the year. We're still a ways out and there's other things that I am going to be, I, I have to worry about before I think of anything like that. So, um, yeah, we're looking into it. We're planning out stuff and yeah. Uh, okay. Um, and other than that, I'm trying to see. So it says your past job involved digital beings and feet, is it? <laughs> digital beings? <laughs> I would not be putting that on the resume. That's for damn sure. Imagine going up to a resume and just being like VTuber enthusiast on the job. And they're like, what is this? <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking about possibly doing like an actual real job, like applying for real jobs and like doing like a little thing for a month and make a video out of it. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Anyways. um, So other than that, yeah, we have the plans that are coming up. Uh, I also really want to play, what's it called? Uh, there's a couple games that are out. Like I'm playing Grand Blue Relink. I, I play it, started playing it in Puerto Rico. Uh, I really want to play more Monster Hunter World. Uh, I also really want to play Yakuza. There's just so much shit that I want to do and play that it's just super overwhelming. So. I'll see what I can do, but at the end of the day, if I don't end up getting to all the games, I will try to do, you know, I'll try to do something, right? I'll, I'll, I'll do something. We'll make content. That's all you need to worry about is that there's going to be content. Uh, okay, and now we're going to get into the elephant in the room, but before we get into the elephant in the room, I need to take a phone call. Okay. Okay, we're good. Just have to take a phone call. Hello? Hello, Kai? Are you still there? You forgot to hang up. Um, just wanted to remind you again. Love you, moi. <laughs> Don't give a phone, a phone kiss? Don't do that. Ugh. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you doing giving phone call kisses around here Jeez, I'm uh yo thanks so much for gifting us up to uh jk pro hey thanks bear how you doing bear how you doing okay so let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room because i feel like this is going to take up a, quite a, a, a bit of time um I will, here's what I'm going to be prefacing this by, okay? I, I'll go ahead and start off by saying, this is the last time I'm going to be addressing this because I kind of have, I know what's going on. I have looked more into it. Things are still developing and I'm not a drama channel. I'm not a news channel. Actually, I don't think this is even drama. Um, this isn't, uh, the, we're, we're past that at that point. Cause there's drama and then there's like shit that happens that need to be addressed. And there's some like legality stuff, right? At this point, this is not your everyday shit. This is stuff where we're past drama. Um, so I'm not uh, one of those channels. I'm, I'm just a guy that really likes VTubers and I love watching them. I love talking with them. I love hanging out with them. I like playing with them and I like watching their, their clips and uh, the things that they made. And, and I also really like to, uh, you know, keep an eye out for 
up and coming VTubers and stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big VTuber adjacent guy. Uh, ever since I've been around since about 2020. VTubers have been around for way longer than that, but that's when I kind of started. And that's, I think that's when everybody's big thing with VTubers are. So I am going to be saying all of this as a, a VTuber fan that's been around for a long time, right? And some things have developed, and we already talked about them, that uh, are really uh, just further amplifies what's going on. Now, normally... Oh, well, well, before that, obviously we're talking about the whole Doki versus Niji Sanji stuff because there's been new developments. And the reason I'm making this is not because I want to put my opinion out there. That's not why I'm talking about this right now. And that's why I'm not uploading because I'm going to be uploading this on YouTube. The reason Should I'm doing story this. Story time screen for this. Yes, that's a, that's a very good point. Thank you. Story time. We have this, uh, so we don't have chat, we don't have alerts, we don't have anything. We just have me talking about this. Thank you so much. That's very true. Story time. Very good. Okay. Uh, so, the reason I am making this is... Thank you for reminding me. So, the reason I am making this, this video uh, and talking about this is not to add fuel to the fire. It's not necessarily to, you know, give my opinion or anything like that. The reason I'm saying this is because this has gone far beyond just your average everyday VTuber drama. All right. I thought we were at the point where this was kind of like drama-esque and I still wanted to talk about it because it's so unprecedented. And it's so weird, right, for this type of situation to, to occur. Uh, but the reason I'm making this and the reason I want to talk about this is because I want to make a video explaining the situation as a person that's in the community and that's been around for almost four years. Uh, there's a lot of people that are throwing their hat into the ring because this has gone way outside of the the bubble that it exists in right there's a lot of people talking about it from outside a lot of you know um commentary channels a lot of channels that look at like crazy things that happen on the internet you know and they're hearing about this for the first time so i want to kind of bring in my perspective which is a person that's in here and what is actually going on and why this is happening right Granted, this happened during my vacation, which, holy shit. And, and now that I'm back, I would like to make this video and uh, I will be giving my thoughts as a person that's in the community after I explain what's going on, right? Okay, so first and foremost, I just, ha I just have a few notes so I can stay on track, right? First and foremost, uh, how did this thing happen? Does this thing just happen to every company that the VTuber community uh, is in? You know, like the, the space, I mean, the VTuber space. I uh, No, uh, Niji Sanji, as of right now, has been in hot water or has been crawling under people's skin for quite a while, especially on the EN side. I'm not going to explain all of it. There's tons of videos on the internet that you can look out for that explain it way better than I do and that you can get more information on that than me, okay? Just know that this has been... Niji Sanji has been very much not been in the public... has not had public favor for a while. I want to say since like 2020, 2021, around there. Which is funny because the competitive or the rival to Niji Sanji of any color is called cover hollow live. They have also been in this specific situation where they were kind of under fire and Niji Sanji was getting praise for treating their talents. Uh, it depends on this. It, it, it definitely depending on the situation at that point, but I'm just saying in general, Niji Sanji was not hated this this whole time, okay? They had their their turmoils and stuff, but it wasn't until like 2021 where things started to really look people were starting to call out Niji Sanji for stuff, okay? So this has been happening for a while. 
All right, there's a reason why a bunch of the a lot of VTubers from Niji Sanji, at least the EN branch, have been leaving and trying to pursue different creative uh, careers, right? That's not under the Niji Sanji umbrella. There's a reason for all that, okay? Um, I'm not going to be explaining all that. You can, you can definitely look up everything that's going on. I, I just want to keep this as surface level as possible uh, when it comes to that, okay? So... What happened with Selene, which is the VTuber that caused all this shit to happen, okay? All this shit to happen, all right? Selene was the one that got it to happen, but just a few things that I can uh, highlight that Niji Sanji has done to get on the EN's, EN audience's bad side is things like they have constantly canceled collabs, events, things that the livers have worked really hard towards and all just be for nothing. So this is like a reoccurring thing. And it's mostly due to, I imagine, legality and copyright stuff and all that bullshit, okay? Um, not to mention uh, a big thing that happened that got under people's skin was uh, the merger with uh, Niji ID. No one really liked the merger with Niji ID. Um, that was one thing as well. And of course, uh, we have uh, we have had some things that have come up that say that Niji Sanji doesn't really support their talents in the way that they should be supported. And because of that, a lot of people were very much not on Niji Sanji's side, the company. But people still watch their livers because, you know, at the end of the day, people don't really want to see like they don't care about companies. They care about their livers. And that's how it kind of stayed for a long time until Selene kind of came out. And, uh, of course the big, the, the straw that broke the camel's back was the cover song, which if you guys don't know, for the people that don't know, the cover song is essentially a project that Selene has been working on for over a year that included a lot of different livers, included her fan base. She, this was a passion project for her fans as kind of a Christmas gift. It, was, it included a lot of artwork, a lot of audio mixing, and it cost her $15,000. And which, from, uh, from what we know, Selene had to pay all that out of pocket. So that was a year in the making, and once it was uploaded, they privated the song. And at that point, that's when things went kind of just shit hit the fan, right? They privated it because apparently Selene didn't have permission, all the, 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 all the, the permissions to be able to upload that song, when in reality, there's a lot of evidence that says that really there's not, there wasn't really that that big of a deal to be able to private and stuff. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'm just telling you what exactly happened that broke the camel's back. Before this, a lot of other things have happened with Selene that she did not like. And I agree with her 100% on a lot of things, uh, on like pretty much everything she tried to do. For example, she was not allowed to organize content, uh, I'm sorry, events with international uh, people. She could organize events within Niji Sanji EN, but nothing else more than that. So they were, Essentially, they were restricting her of what she could do and the projects she could do. Um, not to mention that most of the stuff that she did, she paid out of pocket. And let's not even get into the art contest that she held because that shit uh, is, is heartbreaking sometimes, man. Because, uh, yeah, so you, all that stuff you can look up and you can and, uh, research more and all that good jazz, right? So the cover song. Straw that broke the camel's back. She went silent. Things happened internally. A month later, Niji Sanji came out with a statement about Selene, right? Um, and the statement seemed very weird because it wasn't necessarily like the statement that they released seemed like. They were try. They knew that everyone hated Niji Sanji, and they needed to soften the blow somehow. So they were very much, uh, like tiptoeing around certain subjects, and also using 
other livers as a way to be able to soften the blow. Okay. Um, with that being said, I said my piece about that situation, about that, that, that document that they released on Twitter, which by the way, got community noted. Niji Sanji has been community noted up to f f three or four times, actually on three or four different posts, just to let you know. Okay. Um, and TLDR as to what my thoughts are. I think Niji Sanji is incredibly irresponsible to be able to include their talents into this whole debacle. Okay. That's how it is. JP companies have a habit of throwing their public figures under the bus. Uh, I don't give a shit what company doesn't matter if they're JP American, Brazilian, whatever. I don't give a fuck what they do. That's still fucked up. Okay. Because it's unnecessary. That's it. With that being said, we thought that was it. Right. And then the situation unfolded, you know, uh, Doki, which uh, right now is uh, currently it's Salen that's currently streaming as, as Doki is uh, very much has rebounded. And she was in some pretty dark times, some pretty dark, uh, had some pretty dark moments. And so it was really cool to see her rebound from the situation. I thought we were going to move on and stuff. Niji Sanji definitely had some things to, to do to be able to recover their reputation. And the way that they did it, right? Obviously, like I said, this is very surface level. I'm TLDRing a lot of things, but I want to keep it that way because people can do their own research if they want to go into it some more, right? What Niji Sanji did is not what I expected them to do, if that makes sense. What they did was they made a statement through other livers double downing on throwing other livers under the bus, okay? So Alira, Vox, and Ike came out and they explained the internal situation for Niji Sanji. And I'm just going to tell you right now, holy shit, who is the PR? The, who, who, who's in charge of the, PR, the, the HR, the PR, whatever the hell for this shit? Who the hell thought it would be a good idea to literally throw livers into the frame, whether or not they wanted to do it or not, okay? That's completely separate altogether. If they wanted to do it, the company still should have been like, no, let's, us as a company, take that, take the fall because we don't want to jeopardize anything else, especially some of their biggest money makers. I'm just talking from a business perspective. Why the fuck would you throw the livers to be able to make a statement about this shit with the possibility of them, their reputations also being completely fucking ruined and damaging your financials through them? Because obviously that's all they care about, right? I don't know why the hell they decided to do this, to do the statement. They could have literally just had, I would have been happier if the CEO did all this shit. If the C and the CEO did come out and did do another video himself. And I'm like, huh? They could have done this way better. They could have done this way better without including any of the livers. I know he did. I'm just saying, what the livers said in that video, the message, could have been said just with the CEO. That's it. Just have the CEO explain everything. And that's it. But no, they threw the three of them into the fray, and that is so fucking irresponsible. If that is, they just didn't know. I, at the end of the day, right? What this is, what this is, is Niji Sanji being a company that's used to dealing with the Japanese audience, 
being thrown into the den of wolves that is the Western audience. Because things are very different. The culture difference is not, uh, there's not only a culture difference, but there's definitely a, a very big difference in what flies and what doesn't fly with the audience. So that is just, it, it's, <laughs> I'm speechless when I saw that. So let's see here. Japanese PR versus Western PR, two different worlds. Come 100%. Uh, I, uh, here's, here's the thing about this, okay? I hate how viral this got, but at the same time, I'm okay with it. Like, I hate how every time VTubers go viral, it's because of something shitty happening. But at the same time, I do think that that's more of a human thing rather than just a VTuber thing because, you know, humanity, they love negativity, especially in this day and age. So anything from any community that comes out that's negative, it's going to go viral, right? I think that's more of a human thing than it is a VTuber thing. Um, also, uh, I, 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 about the situation, I hate how it's, you know, it's, 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 it's like a bad thing. That's the reason that these it went viral. Uh, but at the same time, I do love how Niji's being called out and they're being dragged around and people are calling out their bullshit because I do think this is bullshit. Absolutely. Let's see. The whole thing is pretty standard JP pr procedure, especially since they're expecting a defamation case too bad for them about the whole Canadian thing. That's another thing that I found out. I found out that, uh, by the way, uh, I found out that uh, defamation stuff in Japan is very easy. Um, it's very easy to sue someone for defamation. Could be for the dumbest thing possible, but that is a thing in JP laws that is very easy to sue someone for defamation and win very easily. Um, let's see. Most people are ignorant. Uh, let's see here. You only have to prove malice. Is that, is that how it goes? I just heard it was easier. That's it. Um, let's see. What's unfortunate now is Ike, Vox, and Alira can no longer do what Doki does if they graduate. That is what pisses me off the most. Yeah. The fact that they made the statement, they made the statement through Vox, through Alira, and through Ike, people have a sour taste in their mouth. And granted, people believe like believe and and I, I here here's here's the thing by the way chat i do think that there's something that happened internally that there's no i don't think there is like a a a a 100% correct side right because if you if you take a look at their situation compared to uh Selens, right their situation is that they're completely contempt with being under the Niji Sanji umbrella and working under them. To me, I'm completely fine with that, right? It's like somebody being at a company that pulls and they, they haven't pulled a time and a half and stuff like that, but they, they can't leave and they don't want to leave because they enjoy it or they can, they get paid really well, or they get, you know, get uh, 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 treated really well and stuff like that. Understandably. I, I understand that. They don't want to lose their job. But at the same time, I do really like that if someone wants something different for themselves, they can get the fuck out. They don't have to be a part of this, this machine, a cog in the machine. And that's what Selen was. Selen tried to, she was, for Niji Sanji, she was too ambitious. And unfortunately, they, they fucked with the wrong person <laughs> because uh, she has gained, garnered a huge following, a huge audience, and uh, that's just how it goes. Now, obviously, the livers have options, but at the same time, just like with everything else, I don't know what their situation is. Obviously, everyone has options. It seems like right now there might be somebody that's taking another option 
And there might be some people right now. After this whole situation, I'm not surprised if we see some graduations. I'm not surprised at all. At the same time, I don't know what their situation is for them to stay at a company like that, right? I don't know what's going on. And I'm not going to judge them for not doing so, right? Uh, because I cannot see them having the worst intentions from this situation. I do believe there might be some, um, some, some corporate stuff at hand, right? Some corporate stuff at hand. That's what I want to stress about this whole situation is that corporate, the, the corporate world is nasty, no matter which sec uh, section it is of, of that corporate world. And the people that are against it, they're very loud. Like, oh my God. Incredibly loud. Like, at this point, I don't think they can ever recover. If they continue on and with operations, I don't see how they can win back the... Uh, I don't see how they can win back the people. I don't, I don't know. You know, people are, are, are very upset about this stuff. And, uh, there's so many different things that they could have done to make this better. Right. But I think right now, I don't know if the EN faction is shutting down. But if it does, I would not be surprised either. I would not be surprised at all. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to how things work in the corporate world of VTubers, I'm completely in favor of Doki. Sure. The things that Doki said, she could have done it a little bit different to prevent this whole thing from happening. But the things, the restrictions that they put on people as a corporation, on their talents as a corporation, is scary. It's scary. Because uh, they have so much power over their livers, their talents. That's any corporation. Not just Niji. They have a lot of talent, which is why I really like Vishojo a lot because Vishojo is not necessarily like your everyday corporation. You can do whatever the fuck you want in Vishojo. You are your own person. You own your own IP. You're just a part of a group that can, uh, you know, get more opportunities, more collaborations, stuff, so on and so forth, right? That's why I like Vishojo a lot is because they don't restrict any of their, their talents within the company. If you want to be, if you want to uh, uh, tackle on certain things, that's completely up to you. And the option for that is up to the actual talent itself. Niji, as we have seen, love to restrict. And it's not just Niji either. I'm just saying, I'm just saying other companies do the exact same thing. It's just Niji, their management, no bueno. No bueno. It's not good at all. They don't treat their talents well. At least most of them. There might be some talents that get better treatment. Either way, I don't like how much power the corporations have over their talents. And I have no doubt in my mind that there's a lot of talents within Niji Sanji EN that just don't want anything to do with this. And they just want to stream, live their life. And I feel so fucking bad for them. I feel so bad. It's so irresponsible of Niji Sanji. It's so irresponsible of Niji Sanji to be throwing their livers under the bus like this. To be able to take cover. And you can say it's a JP com company thing. It's a thing with idol culture. I don't give a fuck. That shit is not good. 
if you truly care about the individual, which obviously they fucking don't, you wouldn't do this. Think of the alternative, the, the, the alternative that could have happened. They release a statement through their HR or their PR team or whatever, through their CEO, explaining the situation. Wouldn't have been good, but at the very least, the livers would have been left alone. Okay? Speculations will become speculations when it comes to the livers, and it'll die off like that. Now with this, forget about it. That shit is over. I don't know how people, like, Alira's gonna get so much hate. I saw that stream chat, and that stream chat was disgusting. I, I felt so bad for Alira, right? There's so much, so much talks. I don't know how they even allowed the stream chat to be up. Yeah. Lost so many subs. I don't even... I cannot see a world where you would willingly put yourself up to a, a crowd filled with angry people like, and, and be allowed to just take everything in. Would you guys volunteer to do that? Like, put yourself in their shoes. Would you want to go up in front of an angry mob and just get stabbed and shot and pelted repeatedly. No one would fucking do that. Why the fuck would she do that? No, I feel so bad. I feel bad. It sucks. Huh. She said she she volunteered. I'm still putting this on uh, on Niji. Because the fact that Niji wasn't able to see this coming and wasn't able to be like, uh, this is this might be a really fucking bad idea. It's incompetent of them. For a multi-million dollar company, publicly traded, I did not expect this shit to happen. Okay. Yeah, and then the the, the volunteer air quotes, yeah, for sure. I don't know how they're they're gonna go. I don't know what's gonna happen from here on out. But I'll go ahead and end off by saying this. Whatever's coming to Niji, deserved. Okay? I could get into the nitty-gritty of it. I could get into the messages. I could get into the, the, the situation at hand. I just want to leave this video and leave my statement by saying Niji Sanji is 100% to blame. They are the one to blame. 100%. And I don't care if there's laws. I don't care if there's copyright shit. I don't think, I don't care if there's norms as to how things should be done. The way that everything unfolded was in a way that was due to you restricting somebody's creative freedom. And I think if you ever restrict something like that, eventually they're going to break out, right? I said this before, but if you put somebody on a leash and you keep pulling on that leash, keep tugging, that leash is going to break and they're going to bite you in the ass. They're going to bite your hand off. And that's exactly what's happening right now. I'm hoping, I, you know what? I'm, I'm beyond hoping. Like, I don't think it's going to happen. After this, the first time, a couple days ago, I would have said, okay, maybe they can recover from this. After this, I cannot see them recovering at all. Like, what else are they going to do? What, what can they do to recover? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. It can only get worse. Yeah. Yeah, shut down for sure. The EN side. Yeah, I don't think they were ready to be able to uh, go out to an EN audience. I have, I'm hoping for a lot of the, the talents. Well, I just hope. Here's what I'm hoping. I just hope that Doki's situation could inspire others to follow suit. And her support 
can be reflected on if they decide to go. I hope that they can see the support that Doki's getting and say that, okay, it might be okay. You know? It's so crazy that even the CEO had to show up and make a statement. He never shows up publicly, never, and it didn't work. Nothing helped because they said what the worst possible thing. And the thing is, okay, I'm going to get a little bit into uh, the actual details of the situation. But here's what I'll say about here's what I'll say about the actual statement that they released. There was one piece of evidence there that I think was pretty prominent from what they 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 showed off in that stream. Okay? The one piece of evidence that they showed off was the fact that they said we can't approve this immediately because it has pr ex or prior talents that have graduated or termi been terminated. That's the only thing that I saw that I'm like, oh shit. That's why that's what it was. That 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 that's what it was. That screenshot hurt them more than they knew. Because a lot of people, I'll say this right now, a lot of people are looking at those screenshots and they say, oh, well, she had three days. She she got the uh she she sent in the video to be or the cover. This is to the, the cover. She sent in the cover for approval, waited three days and uploaded it. And I think three days is a pretty reasonable time to be able to go through a pr approval process. So at first I was like, well, okay, she should have probably waited a little bit longer. But for the you for the people that don't know what have what has been going on for the past year with this company don't understand that this shit has been happening a lot like a lot the whole uh the delayed responses the fact that they can't get like uh, uh permissions right away any of you know, they had like all the permissions they need like the creators of the music had permission the only thing that they had to approve through le legal reasons or whatever was the fact that some of the ex livers have shown up in that video which i think is so stupid personally let's see here um so anyways uh i'm not going to rely on a on six screenshots to explain this entire situation, because we all know there's much more to this than just six screenshots of her not getting permission. This is not just about the cover. This is everything that has been happening up until this point. There's way more beyond the scenes. Just because they showed off six screenshots does not mean that the entire bullshit that Niji Sanji EN has been uh, has been inflicting on the liveverse will be forgiven. That's just not how it goes. Here's not how it goes. Was Doki, could, could, could Selene have been a little bit more uh, careful with how she did it? Uh, could have been a little bit more, you know, uh, whatever. Sure, in that realm. When I say realm is within the Niji Sanji umbrella. But if you look at it from outside the umbrella, you know how stupid it sounds to get permission for uh, uh for 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 that stuff i i i just don't under just because there's laws about certain things i'm getting more in, i'm getting more rambly about this but just because there's certain laws about certain things doesn't mean that you have to be able to like base your entire like assumption towards it right just because it's legally they had to wait for the actual thing to be uploaded which by the way was never uploaded in the first place just to tell you that right now doesn't mean that they're in the right because they're not. They're not on the right. That's right. She broke our stupid rules. It's not continuous, so you can't really judge because there's no context of what communication can prior to and after it. Yep, correct. There's way more behind the scenes than those six screenshots can ever purvey. Um, now, the question is, how many laws Niji has broken in the Western world? Oh my God, when they revealed, oh my God, that, 
when they revealed the medical documents for Solan, I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? Holy shit. What are they doing? Are they insane? They're crazy. They're, they, they, they have to be like, someone's got to get fired from within. There's no way that they revealed like private information. Private information about a party in a legal battle. I don't understand how that goes. Um, and the thing is, here's another thing I want to say too. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up very soon here. Um, another thing I want to say too is whenever you decide to go on, you know, Niji side versus, you know, Selen or Doki side or whatever the fuck, just know that all of this started by Niji. Niji fired the first shot. Doki was just trying to get out and just live, do whatever the fuck she wanted. Niji fired the first shot. And they kept firing. We thought we were... They could have just not done any of this. That was what I was so confused about. Like, they released that statement through the livers. And I'm like, what is this for? Because there's no purpose in releasing that, that statement. There's no purpose in giving the livers a statement or some things, a platform for them to speak on their behalf on a on a thing that should be handled through the back ends. They could, uh, there's no point. There's no point. They, the only reason why they would ever do this. And a lot of people feel the same way. And I, my gut is telling me the same thing. Damage control. That's it. Damage control. I don't think there's any sort of uh, there's a, any other thing I could think of other than damage control. That's it. You could say it as they wanted to say their piece. They wanted to uh, to clear up their side of the story or whatever. I call bullshit on that. There's no fucking way. If they wanted to go in there, ride or dying. On purpose, like I am graduating unless you let me speak. Then that's an entire other situation that I don't want to even speak on, because at that point, that is that would be very surprising. That would be very surprising. Damage control. And guess what? It didn't even help. It did it. it, it everything went the complete opposite way. And guess what? Everyone's talking about it now. People within the VTuber community, people outside of the VTuber community. If you got Moist Critical, Asmund Gold, and fucking um, some ordinary gamers talking about it, you know you fucked up. That's never in the history of VTuberdom have we had the four horses of the apocalypse show up and talk about your situation. All right? Fucking Moist Critical, Asmund Gold, some ordinary gamers, and I don't know, fucking someone else. Right? You know you fucked up. Never in the history of VTubers was there a time where they talked about something from within the VTuber community. So uh it's truly a PR disaster. It's the worst. Oh yeah, waiting for oh my god, there that's the fourth one. That's the fourth member of the 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 apoc the horsemen of the apocalypse. Fucking Ludwig. With Mogul Mail. Yeah. If Mogul Mail shows up, they uh, it's over, dude. It's over, bro. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. I don't know Flork of Cows. No. But uh, anyways. Yeah, the whole situation's fucked. The whole situation just sucks. And the worst part is, is that I'm going to be hearing about this for the next, like, month. And I'm so... I am about to... 
I am about to mute the entire situation because I have nothing else to say or to add other than to give my perspective as a VTuber fan. Because there's a lot of people who are going to be talking about this without having the full context of as to what's going on. So, um, I don't have to do anything. I'm just telling you that right now. If I mute this whole thing on Twitter and or everywhere else, I don't have to do a damn thing. Everyone else have already spoken on this, are already dogpiling them. People are literally stopping. Um, people are literally stopping uh, commissions. People are stopping merch. People are stopping art. People are stopping clips yeah yeah that is how it goes um this is not gonna go away for sure no need to get involved i don't want to get involved i just am saying my piece as a person that has been in the uh, in the hole for a while now and it's sad man I will end off by saying that I won't be reacting to any more Niji Sanji clips. Not until they show that this shit is, is a problem. And problems are made to be fixed. Problems were made to be fixed. That's it. I I would love to keep watching the like Niji Sanji clips. I would love to. But after today, like even and you guys heard me last time. Last time I was still willing to watch some VTuber clips from Niji. Because I wanted to believe that this was just like a really shitty move from Niji. And you could have called me uh whatever the case may be. You know, you're still supporting them, whatever. But after today, today was the final straw. That's it. Nah, dude. They are, they are, they are completely 100% just not doing it right at all. Until they can show the community, until they can show the community what they have done wrong, and I don't think it's going to happen. That's the thing. It's never going to happen. I think they would rather shut down the entire faction before they actually apologize and stuff. That's what I'm like very conflicted on. Yeah. Will Doki Clips be okay with VSVC? Doki Clips is not part of Niji Sanji. So what part of I'm not watching any more Niji Clips did you not understand? Is Doki part of Niji? No. Put it in. That's it. I will take any clip that's not Niji. <clears throat> so, yeah. They already did it once. They can do it again, right? Uh, just disband. Better make better that than to make the livers than suffering. <sighs> yeah, well, I have a lot of feelings on that. I just know that there's some livers there that just want to, they just want to stream. You know? They just want to stream. They just want to have fun, play games, chat with their audience. That's it. Yeah, that's it. They just want to chill. And now they have no choice. They either stay in under this umbrella that is Niji Sanji that is filled with holes and this umbrella ain't going to save you from the rain. They're going to get wet. So you could either stay in Niji Sanji and get wet. Or. Get out from the umbrella and get your own. You know. Yeah. Um, I just hope. That this doesn't happen again. <laughs> Like, imagine if there's some bullshit that's happening with, um, with cover. Like, I don't want to, like I said, I'm a huge fan of, of the talents over the companies, but I will say 
that while I don't think that cover is like the greatest either, because obviously they're also a corporation. <laughs> don't jinx it. All right, I'll knock on wood. Uh, you know, like they're a corporation, obviously. I think they do a way better job than Niji will ever will. You know? You know what I mean? So they are it, it, it is it is crazy like how different it is uh between the two companies and it's it's weird to see it in retrospect remember how cover was under fire for, you know the whole situation with um with uh like the the doxing and the the privacy stuff with the livers and cover wasn't really doing much um and then they completely 180 Turned it around and fucking look at them now. It's crazy. Major difference. Let's see. Livers know they're idols. Idols? No, they are comedians. What are you doing? Because Yago cares. Yago's pretty dope. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Um,. As soon as they pulled out of China, it became a trusting company. Yeah, I think it definitely turned around when when they disbanded CN, for sure. That's how you really, that's how you show an entire audience. Like, isn't that crazy? That's fucking crazy to me. Looking back, like, looking back at it, like, did you see how crazy that shit is? We, we, we messed up. Disband the entire branch. Versus, we fucked up. Let's put some more people in front of our line of fire to be able to soften our blow. Whew. Whew. Doki just wanted to play Neopets. Here's another thing, too. Hold on a fucking minute, all right? I want to say something else. Side note, all right? Side note. Now that Doki's playing Neopets, everyone just automatically gives a shit about Neopets now? What the fuck? You guys didn't give a fuck about Neopets. Nobody did. No one gives a fuck about that game. But all of a sudden, Doki's streaming and playing it and shit. Everyone gives a fuck about that thing. Neopets fucking sucks. Okay? Jesus Christ, dude. Everyone gives a shit about it now. I go to, dude, I went to the Neopets section because Faith was streaming it because she's a huge, Faith loves Neopets, by the way. She's been playing it for like her entire life, basically. And uh, so she knows a lot about it. She's been around it during the darkest times and even now, right? <laughs> here's, here, here's the thing, all right? I go to Neopets thing. No one gives a fuck. I go to different places. I go, I, I, I lurked in Faith stream and, you know, I, I could tell like no one gives a shit about it. All of a sudden, everyone gives a shit about Neopets. This is the thing that Neopets needed. They didn't need John Mayer. They needed Doki. Oh, John, John, John Legend. That's who it was? Okay. John Legend. They don't need John Legend. They needed Doki. <laughs> Who? I uh, wasn't there a guy. John John Legend is a spokesperson who never plays it. He's like um Yeah, he's 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 a he's like a musician, right? Yeah, the singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a does music and shit. You guys not know that? You see what I mean? No one gives a fuck about about Neopets, all right? I know more about Neopets than you guys do. <laughs> no one gives a shit. See, you're proving my point, chat. You're proving my point. <laughs> uh, anyways. I am a Neopets expert. He's a brand. Yeah, he's a brand ambassador. 
I'm telling you. Anyways, I'm mostly just talking shit. Because I thought it was really funny how Neopets is all of a sudden blowing up. For like the wrong reasons. It's so funny. Neopets stream went. Dude, listen up, dude. I saw Neopets. I saw that game. That game looked like ass. That game looked like... That game is being carried by straight nostalgia. No, that's that it's like straight nostalgia dude that game looks like ass it's okay chat i say the same thing about world of warcraft so i put neopets and world of warcraft right up there i'm like this game is being carried by straight nostalgia <laughs> Anyways, would you collab with Doki? Are you... You're actually asking me that. No, I feel like she can be kind of a brand risk to my brand. And uh, I don't know, man. Uh, she doesn't seem like that great of a person either. What the fuck, dude? Are you crazy? Of course I would. Is that what you're expecting me to say? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's see, Neopets collab? Okay, hold on a minute. The, 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 the situation has changed if I get approached by Doki. Uh, this is never happening, but if there was a hypothetical where I get approached by Doki saying, you want to learn Neopets? I'm dead ass. I might say no. I'm not even kidding. I don't give a shit. I'm like, love you. Incredible. You do you, boo-boo. But I'm, I'm out. I'm sorry. I will teach you Neopets. I, dude, if, if, my, if my fiance can't get me to play Neopets, what makes you think Doki can? Come on, dude. If my fiance can't get me to play Do uh, 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 Neopets, then Doki can, okay? And I'm going to tell you right now, Faith is way more persuasive than Doki is. Just letting you know. Uh, let's see here. Apex arc. Uh, yeah. Apex arc would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. What if Kason reaches out for about Neopets? Dude, I don't care if... Dude, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if it's Corona. I don't care if it's... If it's Bibu. I don't care if it's Kyla. I don't care. Nobody. Nobody can get me to play that game. That game is ass. <laughs> oh poor dust did you come in on me ranting on neopets what a time to come in poor dust sorry you had to find out this uh, the hard way let's see i just have my let's see here uh i'm crying yeah dude for freaking goodness gracious uh, what about your, the, uh, you can run down the list chat. I'm, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. I'm a Neopets hater. I, I'm just a big fan of talking shit. And I'm, I, I realized that I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a, uh, I'm not a hater. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I see happiness and I, I try to extinguish it with my, my, my hater. Uh, fire hose. <laughs> Only on certain occasions, though. I'm mostly just talking shit. You need a live reaction? For what? Oh, look at this. <gasps> That's like movie theater popcorn. Mm hmm Man's literally just a contrarian. Well, like I gotta say, I just like to talk shit. Mm. Now we can turn it on to the like, we are past the serious portion of the stream. I'm mostly just having fun and uh, talking shit. It's delicious. I want some. I want my own bowl. But okay. Story time's over. Yes. Story time. Thank you. Thank you. No, right now. Well, 
Can you just not work? <laughs> That'd be okay. I'll make my own. It's okay. Yeah, we can watch a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Thank you. Okay. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, tuning into my the serious portion of the stream. I know that was a little bit of a talk, a little bit of a thing, and I wanted to get it all out. Um. Yeah, yeah. No, the just to kind of put a, a ribbon. I'm no longer going to be talking about this anymore. I'm moving on. I've said my piece. Um, and I'm going to be moving on with doing streams, watching VTuber clips that I like, uh, VSVCs, You Smile, You Loses, stuff like that. So, yeah. Just letting it all out, yeah. So anyways. Um... And I'm going to be uh, playing a bunch of games. Suggestion for future collab game, Helldiver. Oh, I actually saw Held. Oh, thank you. I actually saw Helldivers 2, um, the gameplay. I would love to play that game with some people. Absolutely. The topics? We can go into topics, but we all kind of know what the topics are. Did you see Edge Trailer? Oh, Edge Trailer came out? No way. Wait, did it? Oh shit, yeah, I kinda wanna see it. I'm gonna make a BW emote with beardless go. You can make as many emotes as possible. I did see the Deadpool 3 trailer because I watched the Super Bowl. Yeah, but to kind of uh, to kind of like follow up real quick before I move on to kind of follow up on the freaking Neopets shit. I'm mostly talking shit. You guys can play whatever the fuck you want. I, I, I literally like, <laughs> I just think it's funny how Neopets is, is, is trending because of Doki. People are like, no one give a fuck about Neopets. <laughs> Anyways. All right. You bitch. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's watch this, this thing. Blaze Blue Entropy Effect released Tao Kaka is out of early access. Actually, um, uh, I have Blaze Blue Entropy Effect. They actually came to me saying, hey, could you promote our game when it officially releases? And then they're like, oh, yeah, when is it coming out? And they're like, January 31st. I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> They gave me an early copy. I was in Puerto Rico. I got an early copy of it. It's fun. Anyway. See if I can uh, do this here. All right. Let's watch the Ed trailer. What is Neopets? Never even heard of it before. Don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it, dude. All right. Let me see this trailer. The last boss I fought was Danny Trejo. <laughs> Danny Trejo, I love that guy. Question. Did... Did he always have the Falk haircut, or is that new to Street Fighter VI? I don't remember. How did he look like in Street Fighter V? That's new, right? Oh, he had it? He had shorter bangs, but roughly the same hair. I let you know. I can't believe they made Ed cool. They made him cool? No way, dude. Ed was a fucking... I, I didn't... Well... Ed was cool when they pulled out his V-Trigger 2, which, if you don't know, V-Trigger 2, he has psycho powers, and he can, like, um, use his psycho powers as, like, a web sling or something, and they can, like, web sling you and then pull you in to punch you and shit. It's kind of sick. That's when he became cool. When he first came out, he was a fucking dork. 
Uh, Ed SF5. Without spoilers, his oh, personality did. is more like his bro Balrogs. Oh, really? Oh, thank God. He was kind of like a fuckboy before. Now, he did have it. He did have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did have the fuck haircut, actually. Oh, cool. Okay. Seriously? I'm not interested in whatever you're pitching. You really want me to punch a hole through you? So, just who are you? You need to learn to stop pissing. Oh my god, you know? Oh, you know what he Okay, sorry. Last time I'll pause it, then I'll watch the gameplay before the gameplay starts. He looks like Dante from DMC. Looks like a drug addict. I knew there'd be more of you. I see this. Wait, what? Wait, does he have a stance that goes into the jabs? Is he like fucking Steve from Cross Tekken? This is all new. Okay, he still has his projectile, the uppercut. But that that's a crazy fucking move there. Oh, and it goes into his uh, his V-Trigger stuff, or his Psycho Powers. Oh, the Bob and Weave? Yo, that's actually badass as shit. Oh! Yo, Muhammad Ali, quick work. Float like a butterfly, sting like a beetle. Okay, he, that's an old outfit of his. Actually, I like the shorts better than the... Than the, uh... That goes full screen? What the fuck? And it's so fast, too. I imagine that's a reversal. Oh, that's a fast rush, a uh, drive rush. Dude, I like the, the freaking, the weaving. Damn. Balrog mains are crying, bro. <laughs> they can never give him a freaking cross up punch button <laughs> oh that was badass oh so yeah that, that's his old v-trigger one he looks sick man oh shit like a like a boxing bag. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, that was pretty cool. Alright, that was pretty sick. Basically, instead of kicks, he gets flicker punches that have three different angles: low, mid, and up for anti-air. Yeah, it's like uh, Steve from Cross Tekken. Dude, that's crazy, dude. The the flicker? For those of you who don't know, there was a game called Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which was a Street Fighter-style crossover game with Tekken characters. And Street Fighter characters. And it was a, a tag team fighting game. Steve, which was the boxer of Tekken, was in the game. And he had a move very similar to this stuff. He would go into a stance. You could hold it. Depending on the button you would press, it would he would uh, punch low, punch mid, or punch high, or as an anti. -air. Yeah, like that. I think that's so sick, and it seems like he has an install of some kind. Hey, Asian noob, somehow, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for rating my stream. How you doing, fellas? You now has quarter circles and DP puts for special so he's not a smash character another thing too is that he was a smash character he had like one button These specials because are also just straight ass normals you can see him cancel them into specials or drive rush i think he's interesting and different and i think this is the push he needed i'll just say that he looks stupid
is it i never like the jacket only aesthetic no shirt only jacket but i'm not the target demographic for that aesthetic so all i'm saying that as i like them in gameplay only he also got way skinnier he looks like a drug addict now no i'm talking about his outfit the shorts with the hoodie looks way cooler His modern controls is Street Fighter V. Classic controls is motion input. That's actually badass. BTW, his theme song is a German rap sing by a Japanese. Now that's what I call Mr. Worldwide. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. German rap sung by a Japanese artist. Wow. I agree his default is kind of lacking, but his redone hoodie outfit is 10 out of 10. Yeah, As yeah. As an Edmain, I cried after seeing this trailer the first time. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. His redone hoodie outfit is really good. <coughs> <coughs> Obama cares! <coughs> How you doing, buddy? <coughs> Thanks so much. Woo! Swallowed a kernel. I inhale the kernel. Jesus Christ. Are you watching Capcom Cup? When is it? <coughs> Excuse me. When is it? In two weeks? Yeah, I'll probably watch it. Yeah, I'm down with watching it. Sounds really fun. Capcom Cup. Highest level of Street Fighter 6. Maybe something good will be announced. Probably not. And yes, I main dead. I was on board before all these haters did their 180 and went actually he looks cool now. I see you, Brian. F I saw you talking that shit. Wait, is he is Brian F picking up Ed now? It's at end of season one, no, Akuma's left. Akuma's next. Um, But you say he looks cooler now? He was whack. No, no, no. Let's be real here. Let's, let's be real here. Ed in Street Fighter V was fucking whack as shit. I did not like Ed at all. In gameplay design, nor in just anything about it. In this game, he actually looks pretty sick. <laughs> but Akuma's next. Akuma's gonna break the internet low key. I hope so. That character's fucking sick. It's worthy of being broken. Anyways, that was that. Nice, nice. Good stuff, chat. What else did I miss? Anything else that I missed? If you didn't like Pico Knuckle into DP or grab mix up on block, you hated fun. Psycho Knuckle into DP, grab mix up on block, you hated fun. I that shit was stupid as fuck. And his V V skill two and his V trigger two, dumb as shit. Suck that shit sucked ass. At least to deal with. Ed Mains probably loved that shit. That was the only cool thing about Ed though. Twitch Prime is my property. <laughs> so apparently, Faith's in a meeting. It is a Zoom call filled with old white guys. And they heard every single thing that I said about Ed. And they were like, um, hello? <laughs> so she just closed my door. Was not expecting that. I didn't know she was in a meeting. I didn't know she was in a meeting. She's in another room. I don't know how she could hear me. 
My door was Damn open. Damn Kwai, I can't believe you were racist out of context twice in one month. What happened? Apparently the thing that they heard was that shit is fucking whack and they heard that. They heard it clear as day. Clear as day. Oh, they were laughing? They were laughing, so I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, so that they were cool? Oh yeah, they thought it was so funny. Okay, okay, thank god. It's not it's not like your boss, or is that not like no, your the CEO or anything, right? It's it was the CEO? Or, sorry. CTO? Okay. It's not the other ones that... Okay. No. The... Not the... Gotcha. Really... No, so they... Well, they all... <laughs> Is that your boyfriend? You should have been like, no, that's my fiance. <laughs> oh, you haven't told anyone? Hmm? Yeah, no, you, you don't have to. It'll come up in conversation. You don't have to be like, don't be that person. You're like, <laughs> I don't think, I mean, I'm that way with like everyone else. But I don't think that anyone at work even knows. Was anybody in that meeting called Ed? Okay. <laughs> Ed was fucking whack. Oh, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, thank goodness. I'm glad they were laughing at least. Okay. Well, Country Bumpkin, thanks so much for the 19 uh, 19 inches. Thank you so much for the congratulations. And then Wish for Peace, what's up with the 15 inches? I didn't know Mario hijacked Coast Stream. Hi, Mario. Your name is Vanilla. Shut the fuck up. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here's one thing you missed. This was pretty funny. HTTPS colon slash slash okay, YouTube but dot slash zit underscore i one x capay question mark c equals rake zero top five co app. <laughs> that was very rude. Wait, why can you guys be rude to me and I can't be rude to you guys? This is a fucking no. This is a back and forth. Uh, stream. This is not a one-sided stream. You talk shit to me, I talk shit to you. That's how it is. That's how it is. I hate just because you guys can type with literally no repercussions. You guys don't think I'll snap back? No, 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 no. You'll get canceled on my stream. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. We welcome you with Italy with love. So is Faith gonna change her name officially to Faith Efficient? Dude, I don't like how you said welcome to Italy with love because I can't be mad at you. Because that sounds badass. You know how good the food is in Italy? <laughs> I can't I can't fucking be mad at that. That sounds sick. Sick. I want some good food. I finally uh let's see here. Anyways, um Any other trailers that I missed or anything like that? I don't think so. All I know is that I've been watching a lot of like Tekken 8 gameplay and stuff like that, and I heard that there's a couple there was a patch actually that got released while I was gone too. Um, let's see here. Italians can only give love. Holy shit! Huh? Oh my god. Is there a paywall for 1v1s? A paywall? You mean you have to pay me to do a 1v1? No! Actually, on the contrary, if you pay me to 1v1 you, I'll definitely won't 1v1 you. 
I'll definitely won't 1v1 you. It's actually the opposite. Damn it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, I'll do a day where I'll do like viewer viewer matches and stuff like that. That'd be pretty fun. Uh Thank you. I appreciate the donation. That's very, very kind of you, man. No, I'll definitely be doing some... Uh, I'll, I'll definitely want to do some viewer matches and stuff like that on stream at some point. Uh, the evil lineup was revealed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yes, queen! Hold on. Let, let me see this. Let me see the... Uh, the full roster for Evo. Oh, shit. Okay. What the fuck? Third strike? Huh. So we got Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, Strive, Rising, Uni 2, Mortal Kombat 1, KOF 15, and Third Strike. That shit's sick. That's awesome. That's great. What's another game that could have been on here? Is there another game that... I feel like there's another game. No, maybe not. No, I'm just being... No? No? Dragon Ball, that's what it was. Oh, and Melty, yeah. Dragon Ball. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. It's okay. No tag fighters? You're right. There is no tag fighters here. Idol Showdown? Idol Showdown is too small. It's too small. It'll be a really good side event. They'll definitely have side events for all the games that aren't, aren't there. For Skullgirls, for I imagine Dragon Ball will have a side tournament of some kind. Um, I'm just glad that Rising is there, and I'm glad that uh, Third Strike is there, because that is great. Also, uh, Uni 2. Uni 2 being there is great. It's going to be a lot of fun. I am excited to see Uni 2 finals. Um, I am contemplating whether or not to go or to uh, chill. And watch it at home. I am contemplating. Don't know though. Yeah, Versus is there. I definitely want to play some more Tekken 8. I want to play some more Uni 2 and more Rising. God, those three games are just like... Fuck, man! Fuck! Jesus Christ. It's 200 bucks for all three days? $200? Wait, to participate? Like to enter the tournament? Oh, you don't need arena tickets? Wait, wait, wait. Are they not doing at the Mandalay? Wait, where are they at? Oh, they're not doing that anymore. You know what? Thank God. Oh, the convention center. Same place TwitchCon happened. Oh. They're making an arena within the convention center. You know what? Nice. Because those shits were getting scalped left and right last year, and that sucked. Though that's awesome. Hey, good stuff. That's good news. But at the very least... The 200 bucks will get you into everything, you know, but man, that's a, that's a, that's a hefty, that's a pretty penny. That's how it is. Um, you should check this bit, please. It was so good. Come see what's cooking up for this year's Evo. Wait, did I do this right? Okay. Did you need some extra guac with that? What the fuck? <laughs> hey man, you want extra guac? What the kick could I see now? Do you need some extra? Hell yeah, I'd love extra guac.
Do you need some extra guac with that? Hey man, you want extra guac? Want to kick the machine now? You need some extra. Hell yeah, I'd love extra guac. That was pretty sick. Even in official advertisements, they'll never let Justin forget number 37. Let nah, the man. man live, bro. Of course not, dude. Of course not. Never, never, never forget. Even moment number 37. It'll forever be engraved in history. They did the whole announcement in a Chipotle. Man, that's badass. Here's the thing, though. <coughs> You guys like Chipotle? Like real talk. Like I'm not sponsored like these these guys. Be real with me. Do you like Chipotle? Press they one if you had Chipotle and you like it. Sure. Press two if you've never had it or don't like it. Yo, you guys. Some of you guys fucking hate it. Never eaten, yeah, it's kind of a myth. How about three, four? I had it and it tasted like nothing and cost me twenty dollars. <laughs> Did you DoorDash it? What the hell? We don't have a Chipotle in Europe. Yeah, I hear they're just an NA company. I'll say this: Chipotle is known for like their burritos and shit like that. But I like Chipotle only because I like their bowls. That's it. Their, their protein bowls are the only thing that I like about Chipotle, which is not nothing that's that that that's special. Chipotle's Mexican food, like Taco Bell's Mexican food, I bought to. I want you to to completely erase the fact that Taco Bell's Mexican food. I know you're trying to say that Taco Bell isn't Mexican food. Same thing with Chipotle, but I don't even want that shit in the same sentence because it's not. Taco Bell is not Mexican food. Taco Bell's not even Tex-Mex food. Taco Bell is Taco Bell. It's its own category. Chipotle, you could probably argue that it may be like Tex-Mex, right? Maybe. Not true, authentic Mexican food, obviously. Taco Bell is Taco Bell. <coughs> That's it. Don't get me wrong. I love Taco Bell. Taco Bell is literally like up there. My favorite fast food. But uh, just letting you know. Taco Bell is not Taco Bell is Taco Bell. That's it. Anyways, that was that was a great little bit. That was awesome. Poor Justin. I don't feel bad for him at all. I'm a simple man. I like chicken quesadillas and queso dipping sauce. The chicken didn't taste like it had any real seasoning to it, and the queso just mm -hmm. tasted like thick, creamy sauce with some peppers in it. Yep. True. I've never True. been more disappointed in my life, and I had Taco John's before. Taco Bell. But I will say this right here. Okay. <clears throat> Taco Bell Mexican pizza. Don't ever discuss that in my presence ever again. Do not. It tasted like shit. It tasted awful. Terrible. Awful. Do not discuss that in my presence. Uh, but I will say, <clears throat> I will say, I love Taco Bell. Uh, I also like uh, Chipotle with, for their bowls. I don't know if anybody feels the same way I do, but hear me out here. Who else thinks that quesadillas are probably... Just because I'm saying worse doesn't mean it's bad, but it's probably the worst of all the Mexican foods that you can have. Like a quesadilla is probably like when it comes to Mexican food. It's the worst thing, like from a taco, from a burrito, enchilada. Anything like that, man. It's the worst out of all of them. ¿Cuál es tu, cuál es tu problema? Yo no tengo ningún problema, coño. I'll openly admit it's the California rolls of Mexican food. Exactly. 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 Like, it's just like, it's like, it's like basic bitch food. No? Just cheese and, you know what? I tell you this. It's just cheese and tortilla 
and possibly uh, like a piece of chicken in there. Come on now. I tell you all this. Hold on a minute. Before you side with me, I will say that my favorite pizza is just a pepperoni pizza. It's just pepperoni, cheese, bread, sauce. That's it. But I don't like it. Like, I don't like quesadillas. I don't get. You can have this delicious option, a burrito. You know, burrito's delicious, right? Love that shit. Uh, let's see. I've seen Taco Bell Mexican pizza on YouTube, Ew, and for that, it's a giant tortilla. It sucks. It's it's terrible. I have made tortilla pizzas, like just makeshift pizzas at home because we don't have anything. Cheeseburger pizza? Cheeseburger pizza is fine. It's literally just like ground beef. Um, quesadillas can have more than just cheese. Well, that's the thing. At that point, it's just like another style of a burrito that that's the case. Quesadilla is literally just like, at the very most, you can add chicken. A quesadilla is literally just tortilla, cheese, maybe some chicken. If you start adding other shit, then why not just have a fucking burrito? <clears throat> let's see about canvas food and how Geary doesn't like pizza I don't want to talk about Geary not liking pizza shit gets me heated but I've accepted her for who she is and she doesn't like pizza it's I accept a nice her. basic grounded food to dip into sauce and that's why I like it the quesadilla you like dippable food huh I get that I get that Let's see. Quesadilla with different cheeses like Mexican cheese and sour cream. No rice, no beans. Geary is unbased, but go on. I mean, you don't need to. You don't need to convince me that. She, she, she came right into this stream, got into my voice call, and said, "Pizza sucks. Pizza's the worst, and so is sushi." Was that sushi or something else? I just remember pizza. I don't think she likes sushi nor uh pizza yeah yeah she said that straight up that's crazy how could you not like pizza uh let's see here I don't like fish or sushi's whatever. I can understand sushi, but pizza I just don't get. I don't get it. She broke spaghetti in half. Not gonna lie, that's funny. If there's any Italians or if there's any anybody in the chat that cares about pasta and you break noodles right in front of them, they'll melt. Also, it's I'm so super funny picky about burritos, and when they give me a million options, I end up getting more jumbled and confused. I cannot order a burrito at Panchero's Mexican Grill because they let you put literally everything into a burrito and it's just too much. Sometimes having things be done for you, like when they have those uh, like pizzas that have shit on them already, and then they have the option for the make your own. I get that. I get that. Uh, let's see here. How much you loved uh, Thanks to Geary? Yeah, Geary, yeah, because uh, she decided to make, she decided to cheat and not make a, a cake. And she made a crepe cake. What the fuck is a crepe cake? She cheated. <laughs> I made an actual cake. It looked like shit, but it was still an actual cake. Uh, But yeah. And because of that, I was uh, I had to talk about Jump Force, yeah. Pretty much. But anyways, the games that I really want to play these days, right now, it looked like actual... It wasn't like actual shit. It tasted pretty good. But remember, we couldn't use any machinery. We had to do everything hand on, uh, by hand. That included making the icing, which was a nightmare. Jesus Christ. But hey, I thought they're not pretty good. You finished Grand Blue? Not yet. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I am very much 
trying to contemplate as to whether I want to stream tomorrow or not. Like, if I stream tomorrow, I will stream with Faith. But I don't know what to play. Like, we could play Power World, but I feel like Power World kind of, like, done. You know? Does that make sense? Hey, Domo, what's up, buddy? Congrats. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Chocolate making stream then? I don't want to set up a stream like that. Dude, it's too last minute. Valentine's horror game? Dude. Spare me with the horror games. Cut me some fucking slack here, man. Come on, dude. Cut me some slack here, man. All right. Let's see here. Tekken. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to play Tekken. All right. I think I'm going to have to end the stream right now, chat, because uh, we're going to go. So the reason I wanted to stream today is because I wanted to talk about today, obviously. But I also wanted to check the last link. All right. The last link before I end it. This is how far back you are on no topics. Ideal. Before you start FF14. You make four characters and submit them as resumes. We the chat then pick why we hire as your character. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what did you say? You said something that kind of caught my interest. What did you say? Uh, make four characters, submit them as resumes. We the chat then pick, we hire your character. Not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I'll make four characters. I'll do that. I'll see if I can do it before I start the thing, right? So I can, um, so I can, uh, I'll set up the four characters beforehand, right? I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, I like that too. I like that too. Okay, chat. Uh, I am way far back. I am too far behind. I am just so far behind. I am very far behind. So you want to do DPS, huh? Okay, so what was your IQ in school? Oof, yeah too low. No, sorry, we can't tolerate someone that dumb. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that is that a thing? DPS IQ, is that a thing? Please tell me that's not a thing. Every character's DPS? Um It's a <clears throat> common gag that the cleric can wind up out DPSing the designated DP sir. Deep pisser. <laughs> I like how Brian calls them the deep pissers. <laughs> you are deep pissing. <laughs> you are deep pissers. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're deep pissers, bro. You believe that shit? <laughs> Man, why you got deep, uh, deep, deep pissing on your mind, dude? Get that shit out of your mind. Get your mind out of the gutter. All right, what is this clip? You guys show me a clip. Burritos and shit like that. But I like Chipotle only because I like their bowls. That's it. Burritos and shit like that. But I like Chipotle only Why'd you because link this to me? I like their bowls. That's it. Burritos. I like their bowls. Oh, it's because I didn't say balls. There's balls and bowls. I <laughs> this is bowls. You guys are reaching. You guys are reaching. 
It's clearly bowls. Sounds and shit like that. But I like Chipotle only because I like their bowls. That's it. Burritos. The bowls. You guys are reaching. The bowls on this stream are for gaslighting us. <laughs> Quite the stash you got there. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the mustache compliments. I like the bowls. 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 So which deep pisser are you going to play? I don't know what deep pissing is. I, I like I don't even know how many characters I can play. I don't know shit about this game chat. And I feel like we should keep it that way until at least the first week. Like I don't know what classes there are. I don't know what what people you can play as. I have no idea. We should keep it that way up until like maybe the second day. Maybe the second day I'll I'll come back and I'll be like, all right, I need info. You make a character. You explain you are a noob, so not everyone gets aggravated with you, and just go with it. Wait, to who? To you guys or to the people in the the server? I don't know why I have to explain myself why I'm a noob. Server people? Wait, why would they get aggravated with me? Is it that elitist? The people you made- I need to party with people? Since when? Boss fights? Can I not just fight them you myself? Have to socialize, nerd. You need to in dungeons? You're gonna have friends and you will like it. Chat is just being awful with you regarding FF14. Advice, ignore chat. Ooh, I can do that. You know what? I only need a one pink name to tell me that. One pink name is all it took. Fuck you guys. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna show up to that server. Blinged out with the best resume you'll ever see. And I'm gonna be the greatest depisser of all time. I'm gonna have it in my name. My name is gonna be well. I, well, I guess you guys have to choose them. But the true depisser. I'm going to make a character called the true depisser. It's gonna be great. <clears throat> John depisser. <laughs> I can't wait. Actually, I'm actually pretty excited for FF14 now. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know. For now, tomorrow, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a just chatting stream with Faith for Valentine's. And then on, what day is it today? Today's Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, I'll probably play some Tekken. Um, this weekend, I'll probably be playing some stuff too. But uh, I think I am, I, I am, I am, I am done. Um, why does my favorite streamer look like the Colombian history's worst criminal? I mean, if you are in it for the story, you can get used to all the British people and the cat girl waifu everyone loves. Cat girl waifu everyone loves? What if I don't like the cat girl waifu that everyone loves? That Will I be burned like at the stake? Character. Coefficient DP, sir. What if I don't like her? First of all, what's her name? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to be going with you. I'm going to be stopping the stream. Uh, her name is Ishtola. Okay, that's a pretty cool name. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, guys, I am done. Um, if you guys want to know more about what I'm going to be streaming uh, this this week and this month and stuff before I do my Final Fantasy 14 month, um, go to my Discord. I'll let you guys know. Vampia, thanks for the uh, congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. I'm officially back. I'm going to be streaming more. Uh, I'm going to be making more content. Uh, this year is going to be a big year for us. I'm glad I'm back from Puerto Rico. I'm going to be uploading two more vlogs. I uploaded one vlog today from my Puerto Rico trip. And I, I'm, I have two vlogs coming up. 
So uh, that's going to be upcoming hopefully this week. And uh, I got some other stuff as well. You know, will you be playing 2B when she releases? You better, you bet your sweet ass, bro. I'm going to be playing 2B. So anyways, I'm back to streaming, back to making content. Let's do it. <clears throat> All right, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for a Valentine's Day stream. We're going to be doing just chatting, watching some videos. I might open up the content discord. Looking forward to your stuff. Thank you, bro. I might do the, the open up the content discord tomorrow. Um... And yeah, that's going to be Why that'll be it for today. Into Tekken 8, and I'm sorry to say, I only play with special mode. That's totally fine if you're beginning. The special mode is completely totally fine. If you're a bitch, I'm just kidding. I it's completely fine for you to do that, but uh, hopefully you can phase out of that uh, the special mode the better you get and the more fun that you have while trying to do combos and stuff. So yeah, um I got like 30 hours. Hey, that's pretty nice. Special mode and play King. All right, I'm leaving. Uh, King got King got mentioned in Tekken 8, and I'm leaving. All right, bye, guys. See you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. We'll do meme reacts. Maybe, but we'll do meme reacts. Actually, meme reacts sounds like a fun time. Just chatting, content discord, meme reacts. We'll do it all with Faith. Uh, my new, uh, my, my, uh, my, my, my ex-girlfriend, Faith. I will do Valentine's Day stream. So, 